how to adjust this dual stage gas valve. All right, this is how you do it for you new technicians out there. This is high stage, low stage, first stage, second stage, whatever. Okay, you are gonna have W1, the thermostats are gonna engage, W1 is gonna turn on low. When the thermostat engages W2, it's gonna engage high, okay? So what you're gonna do, I'll place this here. You're always gonna read your books, right? So the book is gonna tell you low outlet pressure is factory adjusted between four to 10. And then the high is eight to 12, okay? When you go on your LP kit, it's gonna tell you this furnace is equipped for two stage heating. The gas manifold pressure must be set with first stage at six inches of water column. And the second stage must be set at 10, okay? If you look at your data plate, it's gonna say that the max inlet pressure to the valve is 14 and the minimum is 10 or 11. So once you set that, then you're gonna put a call for heat on W1. When W1 is energized, you are gonna take this gold thing off, just like you adjust these. There's just two of them. On W1, when it's in single stage, you're gonna adjust this to six inches. Then you're gonna energize W2. When W2 is energized, you are gonna take this off and you're gonna turn that white screw until you get to 10. It's all right there in your book. You can also download that book. There's also photos there. Take that gold screw off. That's the screw that you turn. Now I'm talking about LP, okay? If we were talking about natural, there would be a different pressure, okay? But you're just gonna read it, okay? You just take your manual, you set the pressures that way. If you don't have any manuals, then you're gonna have to go online and download a White Rogers manual for the furnace or for the gas valve, right? Model number for the gas valve is gonna be there. You'll be able to find it in these days and age. That's how you adjust a two-stage gas valve. I hope that helps someone out in the field.